Hi everyone. Now we will talk about eloquent model in Laravel. So first we'll understand what is model, what is eloquent model and what is the difference between a simple model and eloquent model. So let me give you a brief idea about eloquent model so that you can understand the use of these points also. All right. So eloquent model will help us to work with the database tables. So when we want to perform some operation on the database tables, like we want to store some data or we want to update, delete, search uh, with the database tables. So that time eloquent model will help us. How? That you will get to know in this part. So first we'll talk about model and eloquent model. Then we will make a table in the database and we will check the configuration, database configuration in the .env file. So what is the role of .env file and how we can make configuration for database that I already told you, but still we can uh, just have a look on the env file for database configuration. After that we have to make controller, model and view. Then we will uh, get the data from database with the help of model or you can say that with the help of eloquent model. Then we will pass this data to the view and display this data over the UI. And we'll also see how we can make a function in the model and use it with the controller. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to eloquent model. All right. So yeah, and this is our playlist for Laravel 11 and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, interviews and project. You can access this playlist from the description box of this part. All right. So now let's talk about a uh, model. See, we know that model is a part of MVC architecture where M denotes to the model. And if you are talking about full form, that means model view controller. See, this is not something special uh, in the MVC architecture. So this is simple a PHP file that we will uh, return with the PHP class. All right. And keep in mind, MVC architecture is not only followed by the Laravel, many programming languages and uh, many frameworks support actually MVC architecture. Even if you want in PHP, you can create your MVC architecture without Laravel help also. All right. So keep in mind, uh, MVC architecture can be used with the any programming language which support object oriented program programming, right? Even that can be used without object oriented programming also. Okay, so what we do with the model. So in the uh, model, we basically put our business logic and the database connections. Uh, business logic means, so let's say you are working on a uh, banking application or banking software. So here, uh, maybe you want to write a logic to calculate the EMI or you want to write a logic for calc calc calculate the interest rate, right? So that kind of logic, we basically say that these are the business logic. They can be put in the model and similarly database connections like how to get data and uh, perform some operations with the database. All things can be put in the model. But in case of Laravel, a uh, model has some extra features and th this feature we can say that which is the uh, object related mapper or even you can say that eloquent feature. So what it actually do, it will help us to interact with the database more easier. So in Laravel, mostly in the model, we work with the database only. So business logic, we can write anywhere. Maybe sometime we can write in the controller also. And you can also write in the uh, model, but model are basically used for the database related work. So let me just uh, show you the official documentation. If you will search for Laravel model, then you will find it will take you on the eloquent page. And if you just want to check its introduction, then you will see Laravel includes eloquent an object relational mapper that make the enjoyable to interact with the your database, right? So in Laravel, we have some extra features in the model that feature you can say that this is a ORM or eloquent that will help us to work with the database. So and this is the difference like in a normal model, we can work with the database as well as we can write the business logic and all. But uh, in Laravel models has some extra feature that we can say that ORM feature or eloquent feature that help us to work with the database mostly and uh, uh, that make easier interaction with the database. All right. So now let's move on the, uh, you can say that PHP MyAdmin, you know that uh, I already told you last part, we are using PHP MyAdmin to use the MySQL. So here for now we have one table, which is user. So let me create one more table. So table name can be students. 
right so keep in mind one thing when you are making a model and you are making a database table so both are should be related so let's say you are making a database table with the name of students because in this table there can be more than one students detail right so that your model name should be student so in simple word you can say that your table name should be plural and your model name should be singular and that will automatically connect your database table with the model without any extra line of code let's see how it will actually work so i am putting my table name is students and creating this and now you can see that we have to put the name of these four columns so let me put id name email and last one is batch so id can be auto incremented so let me put it auto increment and length can be 30 second email name and batch can be where care with the 100 length right and then we can store it and this is a structure you can see that so let me add one entry there so this is anil name is this email is anil at the rate let's say test.com or maybe you can say that college.com right seems students related to college and batch is let's say 2018 then you can save this data so with the help of model or eloquent model we will fetch this data from the database to laravel okay so the next thing that we need to do we have to check the configuration in env file as i told you we already discussed about uh, the database configuration in env file in the previous parts but let me show you again so these lines which are highlighted from line number 22 to 29 they are very important so in database connection your data database name uh, should be there so uh, right now we are using mysql so you can put there mysql and okay so this is basically the type of database like we are using mysql and in the db database you have to put your database name like uh, right now we uh, we have created the laravel database that's why we are putting this is same and the username and password for db is root and null respectively so if you just made any change for username and password then you can change according to accordingly but by default uh, with the mysql and php admin your database name will be root and password is empty and by default maybe you will find their uh, session driver is database right so you can change it with the file if you are facing any issue right so that will work uh, maybe if you will just put their database then uh, your session table is mandatory in that case right but you can directly put their file and there will be there will be no error for sessions table perfect okay so the next thing uh, what we need to do let me see okay after that we have to make controller model and view so let me create the all of these three things so let me just start with the controller php artisan make controller and controller name can be let's say student controller and you can enter after that you can see there in the app http and here we have this controller right okay so let's uh, go one by one and let's create a route for this and i'm creating one function there and function name can be let's say get students and inside this you can return for a something let's see just put i'm putting there this function name right okay let's create a route for this and for that we have to move on resources not actually resources routes we have to move this routes folder then web.php and let's we have to import this file right so you can use this namespace path to be a bit quick use this and at last put there student controller and let's make a route for this route get you can say that a route name which is let's say students and in the second one let's take a student uh, controller in the area as a first key and second key will be the function name which is get students last don't forget to put the semicolon so now if you want to run it and you can see there 
if I am just putting their students, this is working fine. Get student here, you can see that, right? So perfect. Next thing that we need to do, uh, we can create a view also, right? So let me just okay. Before view, let's create model PHP artisan make model and model name should start with the capital letter and as i told you if your database table name is student then uh, model name should be student and it will be automatically connected with your table and now you can see that in the models folder uh, we have this student and this is the, our actual model and this is the by default code now how we can fetch this data with the help of this model so here you can see that our model name is student so that's why this student so it will fetch data from the students table and what we need to do what you can do there let's take a variable in the student controller let's say variable name is students and there what you what you can simply do you can import this model so let me import it or better if you want to just copy the namespace you can copy the namespace and paste it and then uh, put your model name which is student right and that's all after that what we uh, what we can do there uh, yeah in student and at last colon colon all and it will return the old data now if you will return this dollar students it should be display the old data which is saved in our students table let me refresh and here you can see that right now we have only one data there so let me add one more detail and it's say let's say peter peter at the rate college.com batch let's say 2016 or yeah 15 is also fine and now you can see that we have the two data here right great so the next thing that we want to do we want to display this data over the view so what i'm going to do there i'm creating one view also php artisan make view and view name which is students right you can make student or students whatever you want to make let me make it students and then uh, from the view let's simply return uh, view and your view name which is students right put semicolon at the last and open this uh, students view and for a moment you can simply put their h1 tag and put their student list or something right and after that you can mm, 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 simply run it and okay uh, we have to run php artisan server you can refresh it and now you can see the student list so the next thing that we need to do we have to pass this student to this student's view right so i'm taking an array and there let me put their key name data and with this you can simply say that student students data we can pass right and now you can see this this is perfectly working fine if you want you can use their print r and let's put their dollar data so why we are putting dollar data as a variable because whatever key we are passing in a view that will be become a variable inside the view file so here you can see that lots of data okay so let's how we can iterate it so what we can do we can simply create a table there right so let me create a table and I'm putting a border also with table better is you can use CSS for that because I don't want to waste more time on the CSS and all that's why I'm using their border property directly so tr then td here you can see that name after name we can say that email and uh, phone number a uh, batch actually right and now if you'll see there you can see that we have these three keys uh three fields 
so let me take one uh, let's make a for each loop with dollar data as dollar student and after that you can put this tr and at the end you can close for each like this now you will see we have a error there because let me see why we have error because we have to start with the at the rate right so these two should be the data right so let me change their dollar student and then name and there you can see that anil after that better you can change this name to the email and batch and here you can see that we are getting this data perfectly the two name anil and peter we have and this is a displayed there with all details okay so the there is a one more thing so we know that whenever we are creating a model so table student be a table name should be plural and model name should be singular but what if they are not matching properly so is there any property so that we can match with the any table with the any database yes that's uh, any model that that is also possible you can let's say your table name is anything else and you want to connect them with the uh, student model that is also possible so let me change this table name first operation and let's say let's say uh, this name is college student or something right then let's say let me save it and now you will find uh, a student's table is not uh, exist in the database so now you don't need to change this, this table name what you can do you can create a property there inside our model inside this class only and uh, you can simply say protected mm, is there any typo or yeah there should be t again protected then dollar table and your table name like this which we created right which we renamed and now again you can see that this is perfectly working fine so with this way if your a uh, table name is not matched with the model then you can change this table name and the next and last thing is uh, so let's say how you can create a function or let's say if you have a function say function name is blah or let's say test function is something right and this is returning let's say dummy function or something now if you want to use this function how you can do that so for that you have to create a what we can say that object of this model so how we can create that let me show you so if you just simply print there let's say hello or something this should visible let's check first here you can see that hello is this is visible so now what you can do dollar uh, student or anything maybe you can put their data and then you can see that new and this path of your model like this right and at last you can uh, simply put semicolon okay and after that what you can do you can just echo dollar data and your function name so function name is which is a uh, test function like this and now you will see this is showing this text also so this is how you can create a function and call it from the controller for model so that's all if you still have any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment uh, box this is my paytm number for donation and i'll request you to uh, subscribe my channel share this video with others like this video and share your feedback in comment section thanks guys thanks for watching this video